them ugly shoes. Yeah, them rope shoes. I'm talking about these right here. Straight on them. You know, I hope Jordan don't fuck off Zy Zy on his shoes, oh, man. Look, smack water, man. Realest nigga on the ground, man. In the building checking in, man. No, on the wake up morning show, man. You know how I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show is going down. How you feeling this morning? Oh, I'm fat, man. I'm fat. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm fat. I'm making it. I'm making it. I ain't got no complaints. You know. Yeah, so, so, what's life like after being on Young Jeezy album? <laughs> Just like it was before being on that motherfucker. It's the same yeah. old shit, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about. Shout out to Young Jeezy, man. I appreciate the, all the love and opportunity. But, you know, ain't too much of nothing changed, man. I'm still doing what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. A couple motherfuckers, you know, think a nigga done, done made it, or a nigga done arrived, or Nigga, so even when I had had a little mild argument with one of my partners, he like, man, Smack, you need to ride this Jeezy way. Nigga, what? Nigga, mm -hmm. like, don't stop. That ain't my goal in, in life to make a Young Jeezy yeah, album. Right, Nigga, right, like, right, you know what I'm right, talking about? Right, Nigga, right. I get on Young Jeezy album, that, that ain't where life stops. Yeah, that ain't where life stops. But, you know, it's pretty much the same, man. I'm still working. I'm still hustling. I'm still grinding. Out here trying to get to where, I, you know, I envision myself being, you know. That's what's up. And you go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, what, what what got you into the whole Instagram? We even talked about that. Ins yeah, Instagram right. stuff. Well, I talked about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was more or less by accident, my nigga. It wasn't really wasn't nothing. I didn't uh, do start this shit planning on world domination. Nothing. I was just right. sitting on my porch one day and and I'm seeing some somebody make a comment. And I felt like saying something. It was about hip. It was hip hop related. Right. And so I spoke my piece. And then after I done it and then posted it, then thought I said, "Man, I got something else to say." And before you know it, I had sat out there and posted like four, five videos. I was like, right. "Man, this shit is," mm -hmm. you know. Right. And and what nobody paying attention to me, my nigga. I was doing it for me. You know, right. Right. nobody give a fuck about what I had to mm -hmm. say. Right. You know. So like. A lot of people, you know, like your friend, he, he told you, hey, but you gotta ride this wave, so they kinda look for validation. But you kinda do everything based off, like, I'm me, this is what I'm doing right with. So, like, how do you, like, I mean, like, how do you stay in that mode? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty simple, I feel like, but a lot of people don't wanna do that. They wanna be accepted by somebody, or they want, wanna be validated by somebody, they want somebody to back them up, they need this, 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 and that. So, my like, nigga, honest to God, true. you know, and it ain't no secret, and, you know, it's kinda mundane and redundant, but. I done been to the penitentiary five times and I always do my time on my dickhead by myself, right. more than likely. Right. So I don't need validation from nobody. You know, if my tea lady send me $20, you know, every three, four months it's a blessing, but I'm gonna have to hear it in a letter. Nigga, you dipping into my weed money, you know, so <laughs> yeah, I'll write up back, man. If you gotta have to write, man, I keep telling you, you can't write this shit in no letter. They, they read the whole ass shit, man. Don't even send me no money if that's what you got. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm about? Yeah, you, you gotta let me know that you spending your weed money on, <laughs> on me getting some hygiene and shit, because that's about all a nigga can get with $20. You get your, uh, some toothpaste, some deodorant, and probably uh, buy 10 noodles and you know, and if you're lucky you get a pint of ice cream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know. Yeah. So, so I heard somebody in your live, because he is on live right now. Yeah. He was talking about, oh, you make music yeah. too? You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, I rap. You know what I'm saying? Then turns out, like, I know I know people that know you. So you've been in a rap group way long time ago. Uh, I've been rapping since I was 11, my nigga. So, yeah, that's crazy. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, I've been rapping since I was 11, my nigga. I, uh, that shit, that, hey, now that I think about it, man, sitting here thinking about it, a lot of shit that happened in my life. I guess the universe designed it that way, but looking at it from, uh, uh, a human perspective, you would call it by chance or by luck or by, right. by happenstance. Because yeah. I stumbled up on rapping. Because uh, I was 11 years old, we, I was at FM Black, and uh, it was career day. And and a black dude, I can't even remember what his career was, but he came up there and spoke to us. And at the end of the week, our teacher wanted everybody in the class to present him with a gift. So me and two of my partners, Myron and Roderick, we decided to do a rap for the nigga. And we beat uh, Run DMC, uh, who beat by? I think uh, Roderick beatboxed and me and Myron rap, but we beat Run DMC, hit it run. And, uh, and, and you know, I always loved hip hop. The first, I knew I wanted to be a part of hip hop, I just didn't know what the first time I heard Sucker MCs by mm -hmm. Run. I was like, my mind was blown when I heard it. Like, I heard hip hop, but like, I heard hip hop for the first time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I really heard it when I heard Suck MC. I was like, oh shit, this right. is 
like this something. Mm -hmm. It's it third, you know. It moved the nigga. So but, what make you want to keep going now? You say you started at eleven. And Suck MC was like the song that, that, that one make you want to rap. And like nowadays, it's just like a completely different game. They talking about completely different shit. It's a completely Hip -hop different Hip-hop is my therapy. Okay. Hip-hop and this shit, what I do online, that's part of my therapy, my nigga. Like, hip-hop allows me, it allows me self, it allows me a lot of self-reflection. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it allows me to, to speak openly and honest about so much. But then it also allows me to hold up a mirror to myself. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, not, I'm big on accountability, and and I'm not above it. You know what I'm saying? I hold myself because right. uh, I was or uh, somebody or uh, or one of my on one of my posts one time put up a comment under the post because they didn't agree, and I and it was about a comment, and he was like, "Oh, so says the one who speaks about." I say, nigga, I, I know who the fuck I am. Nigga, right. You can't tell. I know who I am. There's right. motherfuckers out there who don't know who they is, mm -hmm. and. They'll let that type of shit disturb them, but I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a nigga from the ghetto. I know I'm a nigga that sold dope. I know I'm a nigga that packed pistols. I know I'm a nigga that didn't slap motherfuckers and then raw my You know, I always hear different shit in my lifetime. I know who the fuck I am, and I hold myself accountable. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no angel by far, and I'm not out here pointing my finger at nobody's face that I wouldn't point it at myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, that's just what it is with me, man. Everybody. Nobody is beyond reproach, not even me. Mm -hmm. So, so in your music, do you like? Is it? Do you have fun in it, or do you? Yeah, go bankroll and yeah. go live. It's fun songs, and mm -hmm. I'm and like the latest shit I've been recording has has hasn't been as personal mm -hmm. and as deep. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just been fun shit because you know I always approach like my music from a deep standpoint, right. and you, you know. And so I, I, it's just something different, mm -hmm. you know. And not to say that I'm I'm changing anything. It's just something different, man. Because I'm 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 an eclectic artist. I like like any the best rappers to me are rappers that can do anything, right? Yeah. And approach any subject matter. And you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like that's why, like after pop, you know, it was just a bunch of artists, and I there was some good music. But like I didn't have a, a another favorite artist until Kanye came along. Yeah, you know what I'm Kanye, saying? Kanye, man. Shout yeah, because Kanye. his Kanye give you a complete album. Like he don't just right. do this. He don't just do that. He give yeah, you. A, yeah, he's he's a, a monkey nigga right now. Oh, yeah, he's okay, a monkey baby. nigga. Yeah, right. yeah, okay, yeah. 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 We yeah, got one. Hey, we all gotta agree on that. We can all agree on that. We can all agree on that. But we have a yay. Argument damn near every yeah, exactly. week. Every yeah. This nigga, he does doesn't See, think I he's a great artist at right. all. I fuck with Ye, me right here. I fuck with Ye. I just fuck with the older Ye, like the last two three albums. Nah, he, he don't fuck with Ye. Great the last. Nah, like, I like, he don't I fuck like with Ye because we've been playing, we've been playing stuff. Like graduation, like graduation is a great album. This is this is what this is what I will say on on that note. There is 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 like both of y'all on on both sides of the argument is true. Graduation and all that shit there is yeah is I love that shit. That's complete yeah. albums greatness. And, but right. but the thing but about Kanye is was the fantasy. Oh, the bad motherfucker, nigga, bad motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. But but the thing about the thing about Kanye is and this is even though he's like his yeah he's progressive and even though I don't don't like his latest shit as much as I do his old shit. But you got to allow certain motherfuckers. Room to grow and evolve and push right. the envelope. Right. The culture true. has to be pushed forward right. or it become do. stagnant. He can't keep doing right. graduation right. 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 And, and all that shit over right. and over because then then you gonna have motherfuckers who say, "Man, I shit that you shit." That's not, that, that, see, you know, right. you know who the right. perfect artist for this here, like Jay Z, motherfuckers. Right. They vilify Jay Z for right. growing up, right. yeah. for 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 evolving. Right. They, hey, you want my old shit? Buy my old album. Right. I'm not that nigga no yeah. more. Right. I don't. I'm not in Marcy You're not no doing more. the same type yeah. of things they doing. So I'm I'm living a new experience and I'm bringing right. that experience to you. So right. why do you fault me for you know motherfuckers won't. Motherfuckers want a nigga to be a successful broke nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? My partner, he always say, he say, Smack, you know, when you really blow up, my nigga, you know, you all become the villain. Shout out to my nigga Nell, Music Monopoly, man, because, you know, niggas don't want to see you growing up. They want to, y'all give me all this fame, power, success, and then 
Lo and behold, I shoot a motherfucking video on a yacht talking shit, and a nigga gonna say, man, I don't feel that shit no more. That nigga ain't real no more. Right. Right. <laughs> what you mean, my nigga? I'm still the same With nigga. that being said, would you ever in your lifetime make a pop song? Or make a song with a pop artist, should I say? Yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, I, I enjoy pop music. Nigga, okay. Michael Jackson was the greatest <laughs> nigga ever. Well, okay, to right, me. okay, right, right, right. Yeah. Well, let me oh. <laughs> let me go to uh, yeah, what is it called? House music. Let me tell. Let me tell like like. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, done pop music is like, the same for what it I, is. I, 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 I didn't done a DDM. I mean, it's still Michael ja Michael Jackson was in a genre full of white folks. Right, right. He was just a nigga that was dominant. Michael Jackson create actually created that genre. Like, if you really want to look, it was a pop. But Michael right. Jackson popped. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, pop don't mean shit, he but crossed, popular. Yeah. He crossed over. Yeah, he yeah. crossed over into that market. But it was a whole bunch. Cause of, like, see, pop as far as pop, like the genre now is so more, pop has a sound now. Yeah, yeah, it's a sound. It's sound, sound. sound. Before Michael like, Jackson, before Michael, Michael Jackson, did. pop really wasn't shit. Right. right. Michael Jackson made pop. It was rock and roll. Yeah, it was rock and roll. Yeah. 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 yeah, but pop. Michael Jackson made pop. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. Yeah. Like right. nigga, this is. This is where the money at, right. but not hip hop is where the, hip hop is the number one genre on the planet. Right. Everything goes as hip hop goes. Right. Look at how niggas in hip anything. If you go to any hip sports hip game, just sit there and listen to the music they play. Yeah, just sit there and listen. Yeah. You be like, God, hip hop yeah, is the rap shit. Hip hop is on. the most influential shit that's on the planet, and I ain't gonna just say influential music because e e when every music reigned, it influenced. That time mm -hmm. of whenever it rained, when right. when 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 uh when when rock and roll was king, it influenced what was going on. Right. When when pop was king, it's just hip hop is king right now. Right. And how long it may last, or uh, I don't know. You know, I'm not here to speculate, but I I I feel like it influenced the world just as much as any other uh music genre has. Definitely, honestly, I can't wait to hear that pop song. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> well, 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 bank, but my new song. Bankroll is 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 borderline pop. It's a borderline. Yeah, it's a borderline. It's, it's a borderline pop song. I I, I ain't gonna front. It's a borderline pop song. Like, cause it's right along with what's like you could play it right after Migos or right after uh Future. You could mix it in with all that shit. Just don't mix it in with no Takashi Six Nine, my nigga. Don't do that shit. That don't do that shit. <laughs> so, you don't do that. so you wanna go ahead and give a brief introduction to the song real quick so we can play it? Yeah, man. Uh, the coming up on man on this wake up morning show, man. Uh, is is my new jam, Bankroll, man. And uh, I ain't trying to just steal y'all shine, but it is playing on on I, my live. Uh, it is playing. They started playing it on Shade Four Five today, man. Bankroll, man. You tuned in to the wake up morning show, man. If you ain't downloaded the app, go download the app. Show my niggas some love, man, because they some real ones. And they showing love to the motherfuckers who show them love. This is Bankroll, man. If you ain't heard it, you about to hear it. Fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was animated. Yeah. Do you feel like, uh, <laughs> uh this, uh, this is a funny question, but like, do you feel like you can, you, you, you may or may not be too old for this or too, like, is it, is this Man, age the you ain't, let me tell you something. I'm glad you asked that question, my nigga. A, uh, you ain't never too old until they drop dirt on your cake ass. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The reason that hip hop is the only motherfucking genre where they try to say you too old to, right. to do this shit here because if the Rolling Stones came back today. go if they uh if they go on uh tour, tour they gonna sell out everything. They don't call the Rolling Stones too old, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you why it's like that. I'm gonna tell you why why they call call motherfuckers too old in hip hop. It's a reason. It's by design. The shit is not an accident. Mm -hmm. They do it because they need to keep that. It's ageism. Mm -hmm. They need to keep that divide between. The older artists and the younger artists, mm -hmm. because they have infiltrated our culture, mm -hmm. and they are now in full control of our culture, mm -hmm. and that's part of a part of a way of them keeping control of our culture. Because by making older artists seem uncool, you limit their reach, their power, mm -hmm. and by making the younger artists seem like they cool and they was happening, these old niggas hating on y'all. So, an older nigga can't go to a young nigga and say, hey man, this is how the game is played. 
A young nigga don't want to hear, oh, nigga, you hate, nigga. Uh, no, I'm trying to tell you, man, these people fucked us for this here long, and I'm an old nigga, and look at me right now, I, don't, I can barely pay my rent. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is the path you're going. And if you don't listen to me, if you don't accept these jewels in 20 years, you're going to be looking back at some young artist trying to tell them, and they're going to be calling you a hater. So if we don't if we don't eliminate this shit right now, man, this is just going to be a continuing cycle. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really not about the age of you being too old and uncool. It's really about the control that they trying to... You chunk these little young niggas some jewelry, chunk of a car, you know what I'm saying? They good. Right. But the older artist is here to say, hey, man, own your masters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't want them niggas to know that shit, man. Mm -hmm. And you, you know. Yeah. yeah. And that makes a lot of sense, though. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people be trying to do the age thing and all that. But I think we got a caller calling in for you. There's a caller. Hey, man. This is Big Mo, man. I just want to salute this man, God, man. You know, I'm your love, man. You just so positive, man, and keep going what you're doing, man. Where you out of, my nigga? This Big Mo, man. Oh, hey, that's my, hey, yeah. little bro. That's your people. Yeah. Right? Hey. Look, hey. On, on your job, man, on, on what you're doing, your uh, outreach to people and everything, man. You, I seen where you came from and around what you were. Yeah, you was, you was there, my nigga. You was there, my nigga. You was there, my nigga. Like, you was there, my nigga. Yo, so my man, I appreciate that, man. You are well. You already know where we stand, my nigga. I ain't even got to go into the uh, thug that soliloquy that like that. That is the real. It ain't just the grandmas in the streets too. I help y'all look at it. He's a second person, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, that's real though. Even mom, even mom, like I said, man. 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 Like all right, straight like that, man. All right, you, you be good, man. We got somebody right. else. Uh, we got somebody else, else, else calling. Somebody else calling. Hello. Call. Call. Yeah, like, who is this? It's Sam. I'm calling from Dallas. All right, what's up, man? You got you got something to say to Smack Water? Yeah, man. I just wanted to touch on the topic you were saying that hip hop is the only genre that we try to box people into an age group. Okay, okay, what you got to say? Yeah, so as far as that goes, like him, he doing his thing. He's an older guy, but he's still putting out hey, his... Hey, turn your radio down a little bit for us. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Hey, you know, like, like you said, man, like, hip-hop is the only genre that we try to box people into an age group. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like I was saying, like, <clears throat> we got guys like Rick Ross, a little bit older. Jay-Z still putting out good music. Two Chain still putting out good music. Got my man Smack, he putting out good music. Like, we just can't... As a community, we just can't try to box our artists in like, oh, after you get 30, nobody don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Once you get to be that age, you really can start uh, dropping jewels and stop talking about drugs and hoes and all that. Nah, it, but the thing, the thing about it is, you right, my nigga, like... It's not that nobody wants to hear what you got to say, but the thing about it is, what's the use of preaching to the choir? Like the motherfuckers that we need to hear what we got to say don't want to hear. We need the youngsters to hear. Like, you know how many conversations I done had with young niggas who say they don't fuck with Jay-Z? I, I, I talked to one youngster and the nigga flat out told me he hated 444. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But he hated it because of the message. Like... Everybody is not always uh, ready to receive a message. And some, some, you know, like my mama used to tell me shit all the time and I always said, man, mama tripping, mama tripping. But you realize what I knew, mama was right on point when I was sitting in that whole ass penitentiary on the bunk. Like a <laughs> laid up on that whole ass bunk. I was like, damn, mama was on point like a motherfucker. So everybody not ready to receive you. But we need the youngsters to hear what the fuck we got to say in order for them to... To uh, miss all these mother, yeah, yeah, to avoid all these pitfalls and traps that we fell for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you but told that game, you should have told that young man he's trying to give him a million dollars worth of game for nine ninety nine. These niggas, all, they, these niggas want some ninety nine cents stole candy money, my, my nigga. <laughs> 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 That's all right, man, you keep doing your thing, man. Shout out from Dallas, man. Like I used to live in Houston, but I've been fooling with you since I followed you on Instagram, man. Keep doing your thing. Already, man. they tied in the building, yeah, my that's nigga. That's a bitch. Shout out to Dallas. What's up? I'll let you. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, man. Like crazy for you, huh? Yeah, you know, yeah. Man, you know. If y'all want to call in, man, y'all call in. The number on is pinned up there, man. I appreciate all y'all who rock with me, man, from from the heart, man. And like I said, man, I never, I uh, 
I didn't. It was never my intention that I was gonna be some celebrity or or anything, my nigga. Like for real, I didn't. I didn't mm -hmm. like this shit here. Sometimes even when I think about it, I'm like, damn, this is some crazy shit. Like even last. Last night, motherfuckers asking to take pictures with a nigga, and every time, sometimes I gotta remind myself, like, nigga, you not the same, cause I always been a star, even, cause you know, even during before I was born, I was a star, and I know that sounds crazy, like, nigga, like, how arrogant is that? But the truth of the matter is that my my grandfather was a famous blues singer, but my daddy was a was a was a star, like a neighborhood star. Mm -hmm. And my mama was a neighborhood star because every all the niggas wanted to fuck her because my mama was so pretty and fine. Mm -hmm. So my family in Acres home, nigga, my grandfather, we moved in Acres. With the day they start, see a lot of niggas don't even know the history of Acres home. Why even why it's named that? It's named Acres home because when they first when slavery ended and they first started selling Acres home, they sold it by the acre and motherfuckers were buying acres and putting homes. On each acre, that's where the name comes that's from. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Right. and my grandfather was the very first nigga to own a horse and buggy in Acres. Mm -hmm. The Randolph Street that's named after my family. Mm -hmm. So my family is in, is, is in Acres home is legendary. Mm -hmm. But my my daddy's side come from Third Ward. My grandmother was Miss Jack Yates, 1955. Mm -hmm. I'm it's in my lint. My grandfather is a Grammy Award winning blues singer. My auntie is the biggest. Blue singer, Shamika Copeland, the biggest blues singer on the planet. My grandfather, Johnny Cock made rest in peace, man, was the only nigga to play, to do a concert in Russia during the Cold War. Hmm. That's well, crazy. Uh, yeah, another yeah, another color. That's crazy. crazy. You was a star before you was born. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But hey, what's up, man? It's the Wake Up Morning Show. How you doing, man? What's your name? Where you from? What's going down? Hey, it's Jeremy. What's going on, man? You got, you got something to say to Smack Water? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have somebody, uh, these bitches don't waste around, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, the funky bitches, the regular bitches, which bitches? <laughs> man, all of them, you know, you say advertising, I'm trying to see what it looks like, man. <laughs> <laughs> say, man, these bitches gonna do what they do, my nigga, you know what I'm talking about, I'm, you know. And we just we just spectators, my niggas. It's, it's and you know, and I, I ain't, I, 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 I specific bitch question. <laughs> Hey, look. Hey, when you get advertised on say, do they do they advertise your stuff too? When you put your mouth there, they put you out there. You know what, my nigga? Nah, I don't. I don't even. I don't do that for that. You know, I do it to keep keep niggas entertained, my nigga. Because I can't just do videos all day. So I I give I give my people something to keep them engaged and entertained. Because it's it's about keeping you only as hot as your last five minutes today, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I, I try to give the people something. You know what I'm saying? At all times. Uh, we might be out there next month, man. You know, I got to clear the shit with parole and all that whole ass shit. <laughs> Real life. Yeah. But that's what's up, man. I think we got another caller coming in, man. So you got one last thing to say or what's up? What do you say? Shout out to Atlanta, man. What's up? Shout out to the A. 100, my name. For right. sure. Yeah. yeah, we good right now. We good right now. Yeah. So, do you, do you got another song? Did you, yeah. you got another song either? Oh, uh, well, you know, go. he got Go Live, man. Go Live been out for a while. I've been promoting. Oh, yeah. uh, we just shot the video. Well, we shot the video in August. We just released it. Uh, going on two weeks now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shot by Orbit did it, man. You know, Orbit real big. Everybody in Atlanta. All the artists, he done shot videos for them and everybody in Atlanta. Yeah, and he out here working. And we also, before we go to the song, me and him, we getting ready to uh, do this TV show called Smackwater Presents the Crazy House. Mm -hmm. It's like some some in living color Saturday Night Live type shit with a twist. I ain't going to get a twist away mm -hmm. because I don't need nobody to run off with it. But it's going to be like some sketch comedy shit, but it, it got a whole... Look, concept, sketch, comedy, reality show type. It's it's gonna be wild, and we using uh a lot. Of, I ain't gonna even say a lot, but all of the local talent: Jeff Shelley, MC Lotto, Leroy the Third, uh, 
Comedian Grossman, ESG. Shout out to ESG, man. Yeah. ESG is my motherfucking nigga, my nigga. Like ESG is a real one, my nigga. Y'all need to get him up here if y'all ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get him up here. Yeah, that's my guy. I'll be seeing him around. Yeah, I'm gonna get him up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him up and tell him to come. Well, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell him to come, my nigga. That's a bit. He's a real ESG is a real, real nigga. Like when you say real nigga, he not hurt. Like, he real as hell. Yeah, man. And I don't mean real nigga as in selling dope or Sell it. I'm talking about real as an authentic, real motherfucker, man. Like when you meet him, you like him. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? You instantly like this nigga. Yeah. Yo, I never met him a day in my life, and he followed me before I followed him, and it really don't matter. But then when, when I met him, I liked the nigga as soon as I met him, and not because he was ESG. But because because I didn't met some it's a bunch of cake ass niggas who celebrities out here that I really don't fuck with you know what I'm saying but I I tolerate a nigga because I respect the nigga as a man but like your personality and your authenticity and and you're not a genuine nigga you know but I ain't gonna disrespect the nigga because he a cake ass nigga you know everybody not built to be a real nigga so you know that's just how shit go yeah. among every and then the truth about it is everybody is real. Or a lot of motherfuckers are like, huh? Everybody is real and everybody is fake. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to tell you why I say this. And, you, and when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody is real to who they want to be real right. with. Yeah, right. And then everybody is fake because there's somebody on this planet that's going to call you a bitch-ass nigga or a cake-ass nigga. Right. So, you know, uh -huh. even me, you know what I'm saying? You could be like, man, I was just fucking with smack water. And a nigga be like, man, fuck that whole ass nigga. <laughs> we got another call though. We got another call on uh, Let's get into that real quick. We got another call in? Okay, come yeah. on. Yo, 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 what do you do? It's the Wake Up Morning Show, man. What's your name? Where you from? Oh. What's going on? I'm young, man. I'm calling from Denver. What's up, man? We got Colorado in the building. How you doing? You got something to say? Yeah, smack water? Yeah, I'm in the building. Yeah, I'm in the building. I want to smack water to speak on that situation with that boy so the young is know that, uh, 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 we can't rock with that shit. That boy six nine. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, we didn't open it back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all y'all didn't catch all that shit off camera, man. We went in on that nigga six nine, man. That shit that ain't real by far, but you know, uh, we got it's so many different sides and perspectives to it, and uh. Some people view it as business, which it is, and because motherfuckers want to just capitalize off the hype, knowing when this bitch ass nigga get out, that motherfuckers gonna be tuned in, which is fucked up. That we as a society really gives a fuck about what a nigga like that there got to say and what he feel. But this is the society we live in right now. This just how it is. But I just want all the kids to know, man. If that's if that's the direction you plan on going, my nigga. You know, stay the fuck away from me, cake ass nigga. First and foremost, because I don't, I don't get out, I don't rock at all, my nigga. So if that's the way you plan to go, man, live your motherfucking life, and hopefully a nigga don't tear your motherfucking head off, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> hopefully, right? Thanks. Yeah, but that's what's up though, fambo. Shout out to Denver, Colorado, my nigga. I yeah. appreciate you calling in like a motherfucker. We got another call. That's live, bitch. I already know. Oh, okay. All right, man. Are you gone? Right. Yeah, that motherfucker calling in. Gotta, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta have some patience, calling, my yeah, nigga. You gotta call back. Yeah, just call, we man. gonna get to you, my nigga. If you gonna call in, have some patience, my nigga. There you go. Here it is. There you go. This is fucking my opportunity. Feel it. Oh shit, hey, man, Philly in the house. What it do, man? It's a wake up morning show. What's your name? Where you from? What's up? My kid from Philly. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? You got something to say to Smack Water? Right, female. Right, uh, female. Uh, first female. Yeah. What you got to say to Smack Water? I just want to say that um, I, I find him on Instagram. Um, he is very good looking. Um, I just want to say that um, I like when he was talking about Obama and the president. But, um, it was one thing he put up there. He was talking about he was doing an interview. And he just was talking about, um... Oh, when um, I was with on uh, the Green Room. The Green Room interview. Yeah, Shout out to Jay Green yeah, Room. That, that is... I like that interview. That was real. Yeah, that appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you You real. digging that. What part of it did you uh, fuck with? I, I, the whole thing. Oh, okay. I really, I really liked when you kept a real up to Obama. Because a lot of people don't want to keep real. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like I said, man, I, I appreciate I appreciate Obama and his family and their blackness, but the truth about it is Obama ain't do shit for niggas, you know. And I but at the same time, let me before motherfucker, cause I know some niggas is ready to jump off a bridge right now, and you know a nigga might jump through this window and try to tear my head off, cause a nigga said something against the first black president. One thing we gotta do, we gotta understand the system that Obama was set up. If you calling, just keep calling, my nigga. We gonna get to you. Have some patience. Uh, Obama was set up to lose from the jump. It, it was a lose lose situation for Obama from the jump. And I go, I go deeper into it at another time, man. We got callers, <laughs> motherfuckers calling in. Oh, they, they hung up. But you know, the white folk, it, they showed you that they was, they were gonna set Obama up to lose. That when they announced that the nigga won, and white boys got on TV in Congress and said we plan to say no to everything. Right. You know, they was gonna make him look a certain type of way to us. Eventually, but you know, like I said, I go back into it. We got another call, my name. Oh, appreciate, Texas, man. appreciate you for calling, though. All yeah. right, all right. Shit, crazy. Hello, what? what's up, man? It's the way. Good morning, show. What's going down, man? What's your name? Where you from? What's going on? Austin man? in the building. Yes, Keep yeah. Austin weird, K guy, nigga. You're right. <laughs> what you gotta say to Smackwater, man? I man, I'm fucking smack on the ground, man. I'm trying to get some of the services, shit. I'm trying to support the movie, man. I'm trying to support the My nigga, DM. All you got to do is DM me, and I'll send you all the information you need. Shout out to my nigga, Face out there in Austin, too, man. Real. Me and that nigga met in the penitentiary, man. Mole Face is a real nigga, my nigga. I'm talking about real. When I say real, real nigga, man. Shout out to my nigga, Mole Face, my nigga. For sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, but all, all you got to do is DM me and I'll send you all the information for the shirts. I'm rocking one right now, my nigga. If you on my live, well, I'm, you know. Right. You know I'm like, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead and send that DM and get fresh, man. Appreciate you for calling. Yes, sir. I'll all stay right. in the building. All right. Yes, sir. We got no more callers right now? Not right now. Not right. Yeah, let's go and get it to the song. 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 Oh, oh 2000, yin 2000, yin yang twist. twist. I was like, bro, yeah. yeah. That's like, oh, that shit was some crunk music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I uh, well, right. well, right now at this this point in time, I ain't gonna do too much of nothing because motherfuckers know I just had knee surgery. I'm bouncing back from a torn ACL, uh, meniscus, and, and MCL. You right. know, so I'm limping around this motherfucker right now. I've been going to therapy every motherfucking day and shit. But but you know, I I, I put a lot of energy. In my shows, because I, you know, whenever I hit that stage, I like to get leave it all on the stage. I like to give everybody everything I got. Mm -hmm. You know, most definitely, y'all definitely. You, you gotta get back in shape, huh? Well, I, I stay in shape. I hit the gym every day. It's just this mother whole ass knee, my nigga. This motherfucker a bad motherfucker boy. What happened to the knee? I got fucked off at work. Oh, Big ass man. display fell on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, I'm, I'm good. Right, 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 I was right. laying on the ground. That motherfucker, uh, the, the, the display was laying on top of him. I'm laying on the ground. I look over at my nigga Keith. That nigga say, oh, that's good money. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's good money. Yeah. It hurt like a bitch right now, but yes, sir. Yeah, because yes, they sir. know. You know, my, 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 you know, they know I, I don't do shit with work. I go to the gym, so I'm good by now. Right. They, the, I, they came and I, can you take a piss there? I say, nigga, I piss from the top of a mountain, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's face. Hey, man, we're going to get to a quick, small music break, man. We still going to be here. We still accepting calls. Y'all, please call in. Yeah, yeah, y'all call gonna in. It's going to be a quick music break. We right back, man. It's a wake up morning show. Yo, yo, let's get it. Already, man. We in the building, man. Yes, sir. Well, yeah.
Uh, All right. Already. You can call in, though. What on? Yeah, call in. Hey, so we're right. back here yeah. on the corner 94 to wake up morning show. Back in the building. Still got smack water in the building. Already, man. We we going live, man, with wake up, with the wake up morning show, man. I mean, I really, uh, before I go any further, man, I really want to uh, say I appreciate mediums, y'all, and mm -hmm. mediums like y'all, man. That's because, uh, like, motherfuckers think that you got the... Be, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and answer. Just tell them. Hey, we got the call in right here. Hold on, real fast yeah. though. Let me let me yeah. tell them this here, and we are gonna get right to you, my yeah. nigga. Uh, everybody, you ain't all just necessarily got to be on on a bunch of major platforms like a motherfucker. You could be on a bunch of minor platforms that add up to a major platform, right, man. Right. So just keep that in mind, everybody. Right, right. The, you know? Yeah, small things make a big difference. But hey, man, it's the Wake Up Morning Show. We live. Where you from? What's your name? It's the Wake Up Morning Show. We live. Where you from? What's your name? Damn. Where Are you there? You there? Right yeah, I hear him. He say I, he low. Hold on. You low? Hey, are you speaking in the in the, in the phone or? You hearing? Oh, shit. He said I got some headphones on. All right, oh bro, yeah, call that's, us back, bro. Call us back. Yeah, take that. We can't hear you. You yeah. uh, we just got off the uh, got off a live together. That's another call. Hey man, what it do? It's the Wake Up Morning Show. What's your name? Where you from? He low too. Turn the volume up on the phone. Make sure it's good. Is, 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 you you kind of low. Can you hold speak on? Up? Hold on, real fast. We do, we got experiencing technical difficulties right now. We gonna get it together though. Yeah. Give us give us give us just one second. There it is. We got what you say. All right. Here we go. Hey, what's, what's your name? Where you from? You hear me? Yeah. We no. hear you now. We hear you now. All right. This is Keith from New Orleans. All right. And oh, in the building, the Big Easy. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? You got something to say to Smack Water? Yeah, I gotta turn around and speak. Yeah, this is G3 from New Orleans. Yeah, how you doing? I said you got something to say to Smackwater? Yeah, man, question for Smack, man. What's up, OG? Chillin', you good, Fambo? See, you already know that, you know that. See, I was, look, I'm trying to pick it back off with dude and saying. Yeah. What you all was y'all had y'all a conversation on live, I was just watching, all right? Oh, that's what's you up. Saying, you were saying the youngest who don't want to listen to the OGs because they think you know, they want to listen to OG, they think flaws and got money, got bitches, got caught, got all that type of, you know, different type of stuff. Yeah. So, what I was saying, I'm, I'm a younger from New Orleans, and I come from the trenches too. But, like you were saying, all my best knowledge of the game came from people who then fell on a rough end and came to, you know, to the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. And used to be at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And what I was saying, all the OG needed to do, you know, there's a lot of OGs out there, got a lot of stuff they can tell these youngsters. But when they, when they see how we react to the, they see how we out here on the streets every day, you know, doing what we do, they're like, oh, no, you don't want to be around in here because, you know, that could be. I, well, me, me, person, me personally. You don't want to fuck with you guys going on. Yeah, me personally, and I and I understand that. I can, I can respect that a lot. Uh, being once a man evolve and getting to a certain mind state and position in life but me i'm still going in the trenches because i under if if and i don't i don't feel like that's that's a nigga who didn't been in the trenches because once you didn't been in the trenches i i i never that's how malcolm x got killed because malcolm x was in the trenches and they told malcolm man we need to check everybody and he was like nigga these my people why the fuck should i be afraid of my own people mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm going in the trenches i'm I stay in the trenches where I live. Nigga, I live on the block. I remember the first time I got out the penitentiary and I was sitting up in my parole officer office and she was reading all my stipulations. And I say, I told her, I say, bitch, I violate if I just step outside my front door. You know what I'm talking right, about? She yeah. said, you can't do this, you can't do that. I say, as soon as I go outside, I done violated parole. Right. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, but we, and, and, and what you're saying, man, muck, we can't lose hope, man. We got to realize, man, that hope that hope relies in us, man. Well, tell me, I what I'm saying. Like, and see, that's where it go back to that, that they put us hey. in the trap. They put us in the cycle. Yeah. Oh, all right, they know you want for real. They ain't trying to teach you nothing. You know, you know get a better job while you was in jail. They ain't trying to help you out. When, then they, when you came on, when you came on, you were on that same block where they got 150 other felons living on the same block, but you can't be around. 
But these just the niggas who look around the park. You know, you being cool with them or not, don't even make no matter, because they have. Dudes gonna do what they do on the street regardless. They gonna sell their drugs. Everybody gonna do what they gonna do regardless. And you, you gotta. What we need to do is come together and figure out how we can stop all this and overpower this, man. Cause they ain't. It's just, it's just them saying what they want us to do and what America doing. Yeah. They're doing it systematically. It's like it's, it's just them. You got dudes who they they scream all that. Oh yeah, I'll go to war with them. The world of warfare, shoot a police that, and that, and all, in all honesty, that ain't the answer, my nigga. It, the solution is way bigger than just shooting it out with a motherfucker. Way bigger, that's what I'm saying. It's way bigger than some shooting with police. It's way bigger than you know sitting marches. It's way bigger than boys. <laughs> Cause it, you yeah. need every, you need every nigga in America to pick up a gun and start shooting, and every nigga in America ain't ready to do that. That may be a because that may be part of it, but that's that's not the full that's not it fully. But uh, I mean, I appreciate you calling in. You know, man, we 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 got uh other we, we got some more callers, man. So we, we yeah, appreciate you for calling, man. Shout out to New Orleans, man. It's going already down. New Orleans in the building for sure. Yeah. So I want to ask. Uh, I don't think we got any more callers right now, but I want to ask. Uh, they were calling. Yeah, we didn't get to. Them. Oh, they got another caller right now. Here we go. Yeah. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. What up, man? It's oh, the Wake Up, oh, it's oh, the wake up Morning Show, man. What's going down? What's your name? Where you from? Jacksonville, no. Yo, what's good, man? It's TJ. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, it's TJ. Oh, shit, man. I'm, I'm a little bit from everywhere. I'm universal, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. You got something You got something to ask, man, Gordon? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, man. I, I want to know... Uh, what what is it exactly that gave you that drive uh, to go in, 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 in full gear to get you where you are? You know, what I'm saying? I know you said that you started um, from from a, a jig. You know what I'm saying on the stoop. You feel me? But but as far as in like you know, as you got older and you got out, you know what I'm saying, or you know, you went through all what you went through, because I know our experiences are our best teachers, and we grow through what we go through, and every lesson is a blessing. So which one of those things, you know what I'm saying, kind of put you on that uh, that paradigm of thinking to where you, the, the way you think now, you know what I'm saying, or was it just everything gradually um, building up block by block to get to the top of your you know, well, it, it's I'm I'm in constant evolution, my nigga. Like how what I thought about some shit, what I think today about something I might not necessarily had thought that yesterday, and what I, I might think differently tomorrow. I'm in a constant evolution, and it it all comes from I'm a natural born hustler. You know, I, I've been a hustler ever since I was a little bit, and even you know. I ain't, you know, and not to say this in a fucked up way, but even hustling my own people. My grandfather give me a dollar, then we walk to the store, and when we walk in the store, I look at at him to pay for what I put on the counter. And he like, nigga, I just gave you a dollar. Nigga, you my grandfather, nigga. That, that's my dollar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that it's all a, 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 a constant evolution of me or uh, like... A lot of people going to always hear me like if I could meet anybody ever that existed within that I know of throughout history, I would want to meet Malcolm X, man, because Malcolm X was always on a constant search for the truth. And that's where I find myself at on a constant search for the truth, my nigga. Yes, I, I, I search for the truth in everything, even in myself and and. Every I, I just the truth and, and, and the truth is constantly evolving because what may have been true yesterday, like it was once upon a time that R. Kelly wasn't a motherfucking child molester. We thought him I thought of him as a child molester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to laugh at that, but <laughs> Nah, it, 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 it you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But then once he once he came out putting dick on a lid, then the truth had changed. <laughs> You know, so I'm on a constant, I'm just on a constant journey for the truth. And I got my, don't get it wrong, because niggas laughing, and that's not to, to blast R. Kelly, yeah, because yeah, I got my list. Uh, hey, man, it's not one person walking this earth that got less moments that's less than G. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got moments that where I was less than G, my nigga. I was F E C. I wasn't always just G, my nigga. I've been H I F L M N O P, K K nigga. You know what I'm talking about? So we we ain't gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and act like that. My entire life. Is 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 just so gangster, uh, so real. You know, right. I got my moments. Right, and I, I appreciate you calling, TJ. We got another caller, man. We got to highlight you later. All right, man. One love, y'all. Appreciate it. What it do, man? This is the Way Good Morning Show, man. What's your name? Where you from? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Hot Boy Twan, man. What's up, Hot Boy Twan? This is my yeah, nigga yeah. right here, man. I uh, fucks with you, Hot Boy Twan. What's, what's good, what's nigga? What's going on, man? Well, then, well, hey, man, nigga, you a monkey nigga, hot boy toy. You a monkey nigga. <laughs> well, you got something? Yeah, man. Hey, I got hey, love hey, for you, though, my nigga, because you got love hey, for me. I had, I had the old, the nigga, uh, the white boy named DJ White. I played that fuck it up. Oh, yeah, I know DJ White. I know DJ White. Boom on you, hate that nigga. <laughs> Y'all baby, it's a track on the seven ninety ghetto on the scope, baby with pages, not a original YouTube page. Boom, where you hate niggas like that. Where you from? Where you from? You were on there, you was like, like Pimp C Red Carmen. Yeah, that was up, my nigga. Uh you you yeah, I fucks man. with you, nigga. You my nigga. Yeah, buddy. man, I'm, I'm gonna need one of them um shirts where you got that um. DM um, me, my nigga. You know, you DM me all that other shit, nigga. Yeah. DM me. I you shoot your information for a shirt, nigga. Stop acting brand new, KK Nexus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 KK Nexus, I I'm all right, my nigga. I'm working it out, my nigga. I'm, you know, doing what I need to do to get back to where I need to be. You know, I'm following all, all, all everything I need to do. You know, I'm, I'm doing therapy, yeah. man, and I, I work out at home and at the gym trying to get myself back right. I appreciate you asking, yeah. my nigga. You, you got, you, you want, you a nigga who really got genuine love for a nigga, man. And whenever, what, where you from? What part of Florida you from? Dade County. Dade County, man. Dade whenever, County. Yeah, whenever I'm in Florida and I'm in Dade County, man, you make sure you come to the back door and you let a motherfucker know who the fuck you is because I'm going to let everybody put them on high alert that it's anybody. Yeah. yeah, man, this nigga here comes in for free, my nigga. Y'all, you better let this nigga in, man. We're business. Yeah, yeah, just don't, hey, just don't think, just because I post a lot of that, oh, Shit. I be posting your shit too. Nigga, I know you fucks with me, my nigga. You ain't got to tell me that old ass shit. For shit, so. <laughs> hey, appreciate you for calling in, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. Well, huh? you, can love, you can love everywhere, huh? Yeah, man. I, You know, it's crazy, man. That shit is a, it's overwhelming at times, my nigga. Like, it's overwhelming. I had a nigga from Africa hit me one time. And, uh, the nigga... <laughs> The nigga asked me, he say, man, when you coming to Africa? And I was like, I, you know. Threw you off, huh? Yeah. Every nigga. What's that? Nah, it ain't nothing. I imagine. Oh, is somebody calling? That's another call? Yeah, another call. Oh, boy. Take the call. What's up, man? Go ahead. Take the call. 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 This is the way to go on and show me how you doing. What's your name? Where you from? I'm talking about, I'm from Houston, Texas. They get home. All right. Oh, you're from the hood, nigga. I'm calling. You got something to say? Smack water? Yeah, I'm just out here. I'm thugging. <laughs> we all thugging, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. What's good with it, my nigga? Oh, shit. No shit. Trying to make it out here, husband. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Be careful, my nigga. Takashi 6 9 is, is everywhere, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Already. <laughs> yeah. What's good with it, my nigga? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. What's good? Uh, check out my Instagram page. I'll click the link in my bio or some shit like that. Check out my snippets. I got some music and shit out on uh, iTunes, SoundCloud. You know, I've uh, made the platforms. Now, what you do, what you do, my nigga, instead of that thing, that, I appreciate you, you putting yourself out there, but what you do, get at the Wake Up Morning Show, man, and, yeah. and, and shoot them your shit, man, and probably they get you in hell. 
Follow, yeah. follow at Wake Up Morning Show, man. We're going to set you up with an interview, man. Follow yeah, man. at yeah, Wake Up Morning Show. Yeah, yeah man. Right, yeah, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, that's yeah. what you do, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You from the hood, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. We got another call in, right. so hit us up, man. That's that beer. That's that beer. All right. Appreciate it. That's love, man. All right. We look forward to the follow, man. All right. All right. Hey, let's go ahead, uh, Hey, I want to ask, because a lot of people fuck with you, man. There's a lot of people that's, that, that chiming in and that want your advice. Do you, do you feel like a, a prophet or a preacher or a mentor or, or like uh, that you're wiser than anybody else? Nah, I don't feel like I'm wiser than any motherfucking body. I'm just, I just strive to be me and be the best version of me that I could possibly be, my nigga. And all honesty, like, a baby can teach you something. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't, you know, and I ain't. Here to say, excuse me, I gotta sneeze like a motherfucker. But uh, I ain't here to say that my word is law or how I feel or any of that shit is, you know, how shit go. This is just my perception. And my perception is based on the life that I've lived and all the experiences that I've accumulated throughout the years. Mm -hmm. It's just, my shit just seems to resonate with people for some reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. But before we do that, Go ahead and pub yourself. Tell them where everything they need to know. Tell them where you can find you at. I know they know where they can find you, but tell them again. Tell them about your music videos, your, your music, everything. Tell them everything they need to know right now. Yeah, man. Uh, main, my main way of getting in contact with me or finding me is on Instagram, Smackwater790, 790, 790 in the building, man. Uh, Go Live just dropped the video. About two weeks ago, shout out to Jeff Shelley, comedian Grossman, money making boom. Orbit did it. The video shot by Orbit. Uh, Bankroll is in rotation right now, and uh, fuck you. I'm finna record fuck your feelings part three tonight. Fuck your feelings one and two is already on deck. If you ain't heard it, hit me up. I shoot you the links. But uh, yeah, man, just stay in tune, man. Instagram Smackwater seven ninety, man. That's the best way to get in contact with me because you know I'm I'm a Put something up daily. I'm going to give you something daily, man. You know, whatever it may be. But that's what it is, man. I'm in here with the uh, Wake Up Morning Show, man. It's been yeah. a blessing, man. And, you know, to be around some real authentic-ass niggas, man. You know. Facts, man. That's what it is, man. Y'all continue to follow my man, Smackwater790. Soak up that game, man. Do all that type of shit, man. But, look, this is the Wake Up Morning Show. That's at Wake Up Morning Show on Instagram. It's at Wake Up Morning Show on Instagram, wake, The Wake Up Morning Show on YouTube, Wake Up Morning Show on SoundCloud, and uh, Wake Up Quarter and Four on Twitter. What it do, man? It's The Wake Up Morning Show. I am Filthy Dre. It's your boy, Yo Yo. And your boy, Y O U Great. Now, I got my mans in the building, man. Tell me who you are. Smackwater, realest nigga on the ground, bitch ass nigga. Don't act like you don't know. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned into the Wake Up Morning Show. Court 94 cake ass nigga. They doing it every week for the culture, for the people, bitch ass nigga. But shit, show it. Check out my man music. It's going down. Look, man, we live Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Shout out to our sponsor, Urban Football.